How did you stay in an Italian hospital? Yes, yeah, very good. I feel very good in Italian hospitals. The level of the level of care is very good, um, and uh, I have no problems. Do you think that uh, in England, uh, where you was born, uh, perhaps uh, could have been looked after any better? I think the level of care in Italian hospitals is very high. Um, I haven't been back to England for a long time, but from what I've heard from other English people and in the news, um, the level of care in English hospitals is rather stretched at the moment with finances and number of people um, and there is problems in the hospital with viruses. In actual fact um, the people that I've come in contact with English people here have said to me that if I lived in England I would probably be dead by now. <laughs> uh, let's go back. Uh, when uh, it was proposed the system of artificial heart, uh, had you already known? How do you remember those time? The doctors were clear when they explained uh, the objective, the expected benefits and the risk of the operation. Uh, had you enough time and information to make uh, its decision considering the, that you had severe heart failure, but it was not necessary to keep it constantly in the hospital? No, I had no knowledge of artificial hearts, VAD. Um, it was first explained to me that I would need a heart transplant. Um, and the VAD would keep me alive while I was waiting for a heart transplant. And the doctors who suggested the VAD were very good in their explanation and um, their their view of what quality of life it would give me and what chance of life it would give me. They were very clear on that, um, even though there was probably a, a slight language barrier at that stage because of the technical um, speak involved, which uh, as, an, as a person who speaks uh, moderate Italian, I didn't fully understand, but they were very clear on that. It was explained to me that my chances of survival with or without the artificial heart of the bad and um, I found it very easy to understand. Doctors point out uh, the, that after this procedure the patient must be able to take care of his, himself perhaps uh, with the help of uh, a family member or specialized personnel. You live far enough away from this hospital. How was arranged after this card? Uh, in your view, you was uh, sufficiently prepared to cope with life at home with your device? Yes, when the when the idea of a VAD was first mentioned to me, um, which actually was at the Ancona Hospital, um, I was told that for me a VAD would be not suitable, that the only course of treatment for me was in fact a heart transplant. The reason for this because there are lots of problems associated with VADs, the mortality rate is high, um, and I lived in too much of an isolated position. Um, I, people with VADs need to live near a major hospital um, that dealt with VADs. However, um, after my assessment at Naguada, um, it was told I was told that my chances of survival without a VAD were very small <laughs> and somewhat higher with a bad so that's the only option I had there wasn't any pre preparation involved um, with helping me live with the bad after I arrived home um, I was my wife who visited me here in hospital was told how to um, do the medicazione the dressing um, and that was about it really, so I suppose on reflection there could have been more support to help me after I actually went back home because I live in a semi-isolated position in the countryside 
um, with just my wife, um, with no major hospitals nearby. We have a small hospital um, 10 minutes away, which is now in fact closed after the earthquakes we've had recently. Um, so support is very, very limited. Um, okay. <laughs> How about the routine maintenance of your case system? Uh, I return to Naguado once every two months for a check physical, physically and at that point um, they make sure that the VAD parameters are working properly. My uh, VAD technician is in contact with me as and when required and that's the extent of the main equi equipment maintenance. If you needed an expert emergency contact, would you refer to this hospital or another? No, any contact I would need um, emergency-wise, I would contact this hospital. I have an, an emergency number for this hospital and uh, my confidence in this hospital is 100%. If you needed care in hospital in your area or residence, uh, how, f uh, how would you found it? Um, yes, there are risks involved with the VAD. Um, but I think my quality of life is still quite high. I cannot do all the tasks that I, can, I could do prior to the VAD, obviously. Um, um, there isn't very much that I can do to reduce the risks, really. Um, I have to just live life as it comes and um, accept that there will be risks involved. Um, I'm not quite sure if that answers the whole question, really. Um, also, I think probably um, when I left hospital after the recovery period, after the VAD implant, um, I made a point of, although I was weak physically, I made a point of trying to be strong mentally. I think this, this type of treatment requires um, a good mental approach because obviously the bad is a life-changing um, operation to carry a bag around with the risk that are involved, the cable, etc, etc. Um, so I think you need to be, I think you need to be strong mentally to overcome that and I, I have been strong mentally and I hope I continue to be strong mentally because I, I believe that to be a big part of overcoming problems physically and I've, I feel quite strong at the moment even three and a half years now after my operation so I think this mental strength and, and having an attitude to try and carry on life regardless rather than perhaps being frightened to carry on life frightened to do things because accidents might happen, risk of infection. I think you have to just carry on and be strong enough to carry on and that will carry hopefully through most problems. <laughs> In recent years, uh, uh, you don't had uh, big complications uh, as unfortunately happens in different patients after this type of surgery. The staff that uh, is uh, treating think uh, this also depends uh, and uh, much more to be a good maintenance and a good adaptability and attention on your part. How would you rate your quality of life and ability to perform the job after the operation compared uh, to before? Yes, I think by and large, uh, most people um, have accepted the new me, me with the VAD. Um, when I first came out of hospital, because it's not very common, when I had my implant, I believe there were only 50 bad patients in Italy. There are probably more like 250 now because it's 
becoming the default treatment because of lack of donor hearts. Um, but at the time, I was only one of two VAD patients in the whole Lamarque region. So obviously people saw me and um, my favourite party trick was letting people hear the pump inside me, which makes a whirring noise, uh, which always surprised people, um, especially children. Um, and I think people have accepted, accepted me um, with the machine and uh, there hasn't been any problems on that part. Again, I think it's because I'm strong mentally and I try and go about my business, my work, as I did before. Obviously, I'm not as efficient now as I was before, but I do attempt to try, try, not always prove, but try to show people that I'm still able to do the job that I used to do. It seems that you are very adapted to this condition. The people close to you and others that you met, for example, for work, has accepted just as well your new situation. My hope is um, that I will receive a heart transplant. That's the only way that I can get, in reality, a life back. Um, the fatality rate amongst bad patients is, I believe, quite high. And there's only a certain lifespan of bad patients. Um, when I left hospital um, back in 2013, when there were just 50 bad patients, 50 bad patients in Italy, um, I believe the oldest uh, bad patient at that time was someone who'd had a VAD for eight years. No one had survived longer than eight years. So obviously there is a worry that one day it will end for me with the VAD, um, with life. Um, so the transplant really is my, is my only expectation. Although there are problems with transplants, um, associated with transplants. It's not necessarily an easy option, um, but that still has to be my number one priority, a transplant. Want you to communicate a message to the people who, um, as it happened to her, it's proposed the implantation of a cardiac assist device? I would say to anybody who is considering having a VAD implant, not to be frightened of it, um, to accept it as a life-saving piece of equipment. And although it looks not very nice, it does mean there is continued life. And I would say to anybody who's considering a VAD to go ahead with it. Um, it's, it's, if you're strong mentally and you get lucky breaks physically, it is possible to have a continued good quality level of life.